Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to have you with me. Why am I dressed like a polar bear? Well, I'm so glad you asked, if you asked. It's because in North Central Texas, we are looking at some very frigid cold and probably a repeat of last year, a lot of ice, sleet, and yes, snow. And in fact, last year, Texas looked a little bit more and felt a little bit more like Alaska than it did Texas, but that's okay because there's preparation behind me, at least for some things. Anyway, I wanted to just jump on and echo the blog that I recently wrote on knowledge and wisdom and life experience and why we should really share those things and not just keep them to ourselves. And this really was inspired by the vision of my move from California. I moved my library just recently from California to Texas. And now I'm sorting through things and it is just a, um, oh my goodness, I, I don't want to say mess, but it's a collection of a whole lot of stuff. It is books, um, notes, things that I wrote, uh, journals, and let me just go on, classes that I took and whatnot. And I'm sorting through all of that stuff now. And you know, something just kind of really hit me. I thought, you know, I have spent a lifetime educating myself, a lifetime of life educating me as of now, or at least until now. And, you know, a lot of times we're born into this world with wisdom, with spiritual gifts. And sometimes we, you know, start to realize what the, those gifts are later on in life and not earlier because we're not mature enough or ready enough to actually go out and use those gifts. But the point of the thing that I wrote in my blog is that when we have knowledge, when we have wisdom, when we have spiritual gifts that have been given to us and they benefit society, we need to give of those gifts for a couple of reasons. One is when we don't use it, we lose it, okay? Knowledge is power. Knowledge in the brain, when we constantly are feasting on education and knowledge, we're keeping our brain active and we're constantly keeping our brain wired to re-echo that knowledge. We're um, multiplying healing inside of our brain. A lot of times, you know, towards the end of our lives, many people find that they've lost a lot of their memories, lost a lot of their abilities to uh, process information and I really believe it's so important no matter what age you are no matter where you are in your life cycle um, to just really constantly learn be someone who is craving knowledge someone who craves wisdom more than even knowledge it's because uh, wisdom in and of itself is knowledge, but it is the application of knowledge to a point where you can use it for life experience and you can also pass it on to other people. Wisdom is very valuable. So if you have wisdom in certain areas of life, that needs to be shared because when it's not, the gift shrinks back and you're not able to maintain it or it's like it gets lost when you have a gift and you have especially spiritual gifts that have been given to you by our creator, by God. Um, it's so important to give of that gift because you deny people yourself if you don't. If you have knowledge and information, things that heal people, things that will expand their lives, things that will um, make their life better, give love, number one, first and foremost. If you have love to give, do not hold that back from anybody because love, what was that song with the world needs now is love, sweet love. It still um, applies today. And especially today, we need love because love grows us and um, love helps us to be grateful. It makes us happy. Um, love expands us as a human being and helps with not just gratitude, but also charity, which is the highest form of love. When you have a high sensitivity and you just love people very easily, 
Um, it's sometimes it feels like, oh my goodness, are you, are you scourged with this? You know, why do I love this, you know, person so much or that person so much or this type of um, information so much? I mean, I could fall in love with knowledge sometimes because I just thirst for it. But when you have that, you have to give of it because when we don't, we deny society, we deny humanity of the things that are very vital. We feast on love every single day. And if you have that to give, definitely give it to those who need it the most, especially give it to yourself first. Honor God and honor the God presence in, within you and give love to yourself. Be good to yourself and through that love and that goodness, be grateful for it and allow charity to come through you, meaning gifting of that love to others. So. Um, with that little sideline, I'm just going to go back to knowledge and wisdom. Make sure that you share that in whatever venue comes to you, whatever inspiration comes to you. It's so important that we share the gift of who we are to other people because there are others that are out there that need you. And I believe that we're in groups of people that we find those people and attract them to us who need the knowledge and the gift of who we are and the wisdom that we have and our spiritual gifts, and we also share those with them and they share theirs with us. So either way, you know, sometimes we give people not a handout, but a hand up because they need that. And sometimes they do that for us. It's called to me one anothering and it's so important that we do it. So please don't not do it. Not to put a dead negative or a double negative in there, but don't not do it, okay? And please send some love and intention, good intention toward North Central Texas as we go through some blizzard conditions. And hopefully, maybe in a few more days, I won't have to dress like a polar bear. Until then, I just want to say goodbye until the next time. I love you from here. God bless you and have the best possible day ever. And don't forget to share all the gift of who you are because... That gift is love and you're amazing. So don't think that you're anything but that. God bless you. Bye-bye.